Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. We're attracting flighty people, right? Situations that weren't built on a solid foundation. They failed to get off the ground. It can be, you know, just generally that was what was going on or it can be a, sp a specific energy that you saw a lot of potential and then didn't quite go anywhere. There may be blockages in communication. Whatever your situation is, I see forward movement here. Someone who's making plans to move, travel, or it can be attracting someone where there's travel required with chariot. But what I like here is that if there was any blockages when it comes to your love life, it's a green light from the universe. But if there is any disappointment, um, your energy shifting here. I see determination and I see you really focused on your goal. Whatever that may be. Yeah, there is blockages, bad luck, something when it comes to your love life here in the past. How will the person on Sagittarius mind be feeling? Yeah, they're not. Someone may have to move. I'm seeing that with death, some sort of transition. If there was, I'll give you a scenario. If this, there was separation or an ending um, between the both of you, it's like this person's having a hard time um, moving on from you, if that is the case. But a lot of you King of Pentacles in someone's feelings is a beautiful, mature energy, someone who's stable, someone who's wanting to take you out. They're very curious. They're interested in getting to know you better. Oh, when I cut the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Clarify King of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, if there has been an ending, we have Scorpio here. Um, this person does watch you. They're having a hard time moving on from you. They're emotionally still invested. They want to know what you're up to, what you're doing. It's really telling me that there's someone here that's having a hard time moving on. Yeah, they feel like they've invested a lot of time. They're not ready to let this go. The reason things may be stagnant or not moving forward can be some distance. I was seeing that bottom deck, right? Because we have the globe here and chariot often does signify travel or just forward movement. How is this person viewing Sagittarius? Someone who's withdrawing, detaching, cutting the situation out. That's why they're missing you. They're mourning. What is this person's intentions? Their intentions was to offer you something here, a friendship. But I don't know if they are Ace of Pentacles. They hold themselves back. They want to. I don't feel like there's bad intentions here. Some of you may have turned down this person's offer, but it's almost like they go back and forth. What action will this person take? Yeah, they'll take that leap towards you. There's someone who's wanting to commit to you, offer you stability, Queen of Pentacles. Because it's a general reading, and I have to mention this, if this person is, we have a match here, King and Queen of Pentacles. If this is a married couple, then this can be reckless energy, fool. Someone who's taking a risk, a chance. And in that case, I don't feel you're interested. But if that's not the case, I, I, I genuinely feel that there's someone who's wanting to commit to you. They really like you. Someone here may be going through a divorce or some painful ending. If it's a new person, they're not missing. I don't feel like this is grieving you, right? It's something that happened. And they're trying to move forward in their life. And they're wanting to get to know you better, Page of Swords, right? Because I was seeing all that new energy. Yeah, this person holds back a lot because they fear rejection here. Four of Cups, 
this person's really they're wanting to charge towards you sagittarius whoever you're thinking about the only thing that's holding them back is fears they go back and forth in their mind what should i do they were studying the situation here wanting to offer you something but they were holding back or waiting for the right time yeah their intuition is blocked this will take its time they're not taking action or initiative they're not stepping up because they're not they don't have a plan in terms of you what should i do but you do make them happy you bring them a lot of emotional fulfillment here and again if those of you resonate with that third party then family is coming through there's fantasy and they fantasize about being with you a lot of passion what it would be like to be intimate with you if you haven't quite got there yet i don't feel like this is over when it comes to this person's energy you're coming through as a little bit closed off they're not ready to give up on this how will the person on sagittarius think to offer you something but you may not be trusting this king of swords there's again do you see the distance if it's not physical which i was getting for a lot of you it's emotional because we also have the water here you're keeping this person at arm's length. You don't trust what they have to offer. But there is someone who's wanting to pursue you, court you, king of wands. That's the king that takes initiative. But again, this king does doubt. They do have doubts. They put on a brave face. They're very confident. They're charismatic. But deep down, there is... They need to, it's like they're trying to strategize or come up with a plan here. But I also feel if it's someone new with doubt, they've been through something heavy here. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like they're not wanting to make a mistake, right? So they're coming through as cautious. I'm not moving forward or taking charge until I have some sort of clarity here. They're also quite jealous, they're saying, with that Scorpio energy. Independence. Yeah, this is again telling me that there's distance. Oh yeah, problem. Two puzzle pieces that aren't fitting together. Again, he's offering her the bouquet of flowers, but she, the doubt here, regardless of gender, because he's chained or he's committed to something else. So definitely those of you that are dealing with someone and that was in a commitment, a long-term commitment that they're coming out of, or there is a third party present right now. We have fear and problem. Someone here is really afraid of messing things up, I'm getting, and intimacy, lust. I was telling you, they fantasize about being physical, passionate with you. But again, if it's a third party or whatever, someone's non-committal, lovers push me, pull me. That is why, mixed signals. There's three people here. Let me get some messages. Because not everyone is dealing with... Some of you are saying this person, you know, if you weren't giving them the time of the day, there is some fallout here. Um, this person tried to replace you, but they're unable to. They can't get you out of their energy. But they also don't know how to approach you here. There's a lot of daydreaming fantasy when it comes to you, regardless of what your situation is. Messages from this person. Yeah, the bond we share is falling apart. I wonder if it's too late to save our relationship. They want to save this. We have, it hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. I'm suffering in silence. That is why suffering in silence, five of cups, watching you online, page of swords. You cut them out, king of swords. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of rejection. How will the person on Sagittarius mind feel? 
I've been so moody lately, my feelings are all over the place. I have exactly what I was telling you, right? I have no clue what to do anymore. That's the only thing that's holding them back. I've tried to replace you, but no one compares to you. And if you've detached, you've cut them out, they're holding on to a grudge. They're holding on to some resentment, but they're also unable to. There is true love here, is what I'm getting. There was feelings. I don't know what happened exactly. Exactly. I'm angry at you, but I still love you. Give me time to heal. If they ghosted you, we have I fear I feel terrible for ghosting you and avoiding you. I didn't have the courage to say what needed to be said. I'm heartbroken. I didn't realize I would break my own heart by leaving you. I want to reconcile, please forgive me. They make they made the wrong choice if they were keeping their options open. Some of you could have been dealing with a person that was very stubborn. They were refusing to change their ways. I also see that. Oh yeah, wow, very paranoid. We have, they are guarded, fear showing their true self. This person's not being completely vulnerable. Want to be left alone, indulging in too much seclusion. Again, I was seeing distance with the independence. We have, they idolize you. Your presence is intimidating, 31. And we also have 64. Need more info to trust? A sacrifice needs to be made. I'm not sure they're making that sacrifice. I'm telling you they're refusing to change. But if it's a new person, I see the magnifying glass with the page of swords doing some detective work. They need more information about you so they can to trust you completely, right? Eighty-three. You're meant to be together. In the end, love wins. Secretly unhappy in a perpetual state of boredom. They don't like being without you. Yeah, it feels like you have some sort of hold over them. But they don't have that clarity. They need emotional clarity. They have mixed feelings when it comes to you. We saw that with that love-hate dynamic, right? Goodness, but you're meant to be together. So I do see reconciliation. And it will be free will. But a lot of you, it can work out. Your advice is build in you. Don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. There is your. This is your chance to build something different. We also have inner child. Connect with your inner child and listen to what your child self has to say as you move forward on your journey. All is well. So don't worry. They're saying you're on the right path. You don't have much to stress about. So relax. Everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. Find peace and wisdom by accepting what is. I don't feel this is over, Sagittarius. But I was seeing you feeling... Your feelings are what are really throwing me off. Why King of Swords? Some of you, you felt like this person wasn't fulfilling your needs. Nine of Cups. There was no direction here. Eight of Swords keeping you stuck. There's no clarity. No direction, eight of swords, a lot of overthinking. You're embodying air energy, a lot of mental activity. But it is telling me when it comes to this person, you're not feeling satisfied, which is why you're choosing to detach, perhaps to get that clarity, right? Because when you're in the situation, it's like you can't see a way forward. But that is what was lifting. If there is fog, I see you. I see you picking a direction and moving forward, so don't worry. If there is blockages or you're not having the answers right now, they will come to you. 
but also build a new is that if you're the only one putting in effort, right, the person is not making the necessary changes to accommodate you the situation, they're not putting in the effort, then you're being called to look in a different direction because we're, there was new love, Ace of Cups. I'll leave you there, Sagittarius. Hopefully this gave you some clarity in regards to your situation. I did my best. Take care of yourself, and I will see you sometime next week. Bye.